Hey guys, Brian Tong here from CNET.com, and in my hands, yep, I have Google Glass. This really has the whole tech world buzzing, and we wanted to really break down what this is. Now, the first thing is not everyone can get a pair of these. You had to be part of Google's Explore program, and they cost $1,500. They don't come cheap, but what this is really for is for developers, uh, you know, people that are trying to come up with new apps and ways to use the actual Google Glass. And what you see here is this is a frame here. It's not actually a pair of glasses. It's a thin titanium and sturdy frame, and what it does is it has this piece of glass right here. This is where an image is projected or kind of the heads-up display for what you have here. So let me show you how these work. I'm going to put these glasses on in. <laughs> Kev. I make these look good, check it out, all right? But the first thing you have to do is, first of all, you can either tap the side or do a little head bob, and it activates the screen. You can see it turn on, and I'm gonna start by saying, okay, glass. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, glass, I have a variety of options, and here I'm gonna say, record a video. And you'll see my screen change, and now you guys can see what I see. I have Michael and Jay here. Hey, boys, say what's up, wave hi. There you go, right? Now, you can also do a lot of other things with this. You can um, use them for map directions. You can actually Google items, names, people, or places. And it does require a data connection, so that means you're gonna have to have a phone tethered to this over Bluetooth or even over Wi-Fi. So my first impressions of glass, I mean, these things are amazing. This is really the future, and we've never seen anything like this, but wearing them is, is a little socially awkward. Yo, Jay, what's up, bro? You're gonna kick it later tonight, man? Jay. But really, this is the future, and you know it can only get better. For CNET.com, I'm Brian Tong.